What's up? So I'm down back at the finer details again in Danville, Indiana. One of the best restoration shops in the country, in the nation, in all of North America. The 71 340 Cuda behind me uh, is getting a little upgrade under the hood. Let me show you what's going on here. Modern engine. What is it? It is a 6.2 liter red eye motor. Look at this. 797 horsepower, 707 foot pounds of torque. How's that for an upgrade from the 340? The guys were saying this thing fit right in perfectly, dropped right in, and for about 27 grand, you get everything. Plug and play. You can see it's got nice headers on it, fits in there perfect. It's getting a new set of billboards on the side, the stripes, and uh, something to do with the red eye, but personally, I would leave the 340 billboards on it and just keep this thing a sleeper. Take off from the light with about 800 horses. They're gonna say, what the hell's going on? But that is bad to the bone, man. Brand new. This is a 1970 AAR Cuda, 346 barrel car, original AAR. Going in the paint booth. Hi, Jay. What's up, Rude? What color is this thing going to be? I can't remember. F4. F4 green? Yep. Nice. You know the AAR has the strobe stripes with the little shield on the back. This thing is all ready. All the metal work's done. It's beautiful. And uh, it's going to be time for color soon. And it's an elastomeric bumper car, not chrome. Looking good, I love this thing. So now we're gonna see something special. 1968 Dodge Super B. Look at that, and guess what? It's a Hemi car. Again, green on green. Is it green top? Yeah. No way. Green green Another green. triple green car. Oh, hell yeah. This is cool. I don't know about the rest of you Mopar guys out there, but Super Bs are one of my favorite cars of all time. Oh. Look at that baby. Real Hemi car? Real deal Hemi Super B. You guys just did a gold one, 68. 
Now you got a green one in here. Yep. What are you What are you gonna do with this one? They just had to get it running. Mechanical. It's all mechanical. Mechanical. Get it running. Yep. For the client. Yep. It's been sitting since like mid nineties. Really? Sitting since the nineties. Wow. What's this Trans Am? Told you about that. That's seven five. Oh, that's right. Damn. Mechanical too, I think. Sure is a 75. Look at that. Yeah, Nightwatch Blue or whatever the dark blue was. And what motor? I don't know. Wow. Cool. Four speed, too. Yeah. It's like a 72 Challenger, I think, with uh, 71 stripes. Cool car, though. What's that? This thing's bad. Bad? I drive this car all day, every day. What's under the hood on this one? I don't know. But whatever it, it is, it's pretty perfect health. I mean, it should be a 340 car. It is. Yeah. Yep. It says it is. says it is. You never know. But uh, it is a nice little car, man. It looks, it looks straight, you know, mm -hmm. for a black car. And yeah. it's got the matte 72 uh, or 3 stripes in it. Yeah, I like that. You don't see many black ones in those years, you know? Mm. 72, 3, 4. Yeah. They're always red or blue or white. We gotta find out where they put it. Daytona. Here's the black 69 Daytona that went out and got stripped. doesn't look too bad. Jay, honestly, Jay, it doesn't look too bad. No. I've seen a lot worse coming through this shop. I mean, of course, it's got floor pans, trunk pan, aprons are messed up, tail panel, but the car's pretty straight. Not bad. Not bad. A lot better than we thought we were going to get back. No kidding. It's a lot better than I thought it would be, too. My last video I just did on Joe's uh, Ferrari kit car, I was talking about the, the Daytona and the 500 window plug. Here it is. See this? See how they put the plug in here for the Daytona and the Charger 500s? And it's got that rare back glass. You do not want to break that back window. You will be sorry. Very, very rare. Can you walk over real fast? Hi. Shelby GT500 KR convertible. on the Helifin Charger, the 1,000 horsepower motor car. It's looking a lot better. It's got the new quarters on, sheet metal, 
is all in place. And now it's getting all the little fine touches. The spot welds are in. They're grinding down everything, getting this thing ready for the next step. Remember, this car is gonna have crazy horsepower and crazy torque. I cannot wait for this thing to be done. I'm sure Mike Sarawick can't wait for it to be done either. He's the owner and uh, this car is gonna be bad to the bone. getting worked down now. the driver's side on that side. Is that all right? All right. I want a little angle. So to get it tighter. Is that good? Yeah. Tire? Tire, turn a tire. Turn it. That's good. Le wait, wait. Little less, little less. That's good. <laughs> 